I signed up for the Raycast Windows waitlist about a month ago and I finally got in. For those who don't know, Raycast has been this insanely popular Mac productivity tool and now it's finally on Windows. If you want to see what the hype is about, hit subscribe and drop a like. So without any further ado, let's jump in. Here I'm on the Raycast.com, I'm signed in with my account and let's click here on download to get the installer here for the Raycast. I'm going to click here on keep and let's click here on the Raycast package. And if it's going to actually work as on Mac OS, this would be actually insane. Now here we have the Raycast installer, let's click here on install. And let's just wait here for a few seconds. Here we are at the welcome to Raycast for Windows. Now let us tell you about your PC's new superpowers. Let's click here to get started. And then we have here the app launcher, file search, calculator, search emojis and symbols. Then we have clipboard history, snippets, quick links, as well as hundreds of store extensions. So here I'm going to click on continue and we have here also the AI feature, which I'm also leave here enabled. Click continue and then here we have the option to actually activate the Raycast. So alt plus space. And you can also, if you want here, record new hotkey, but I'm gonna leave it as it is here. So let's click here on alt plus space. And here we are, and here we have this window to search for the applications, calculate things and many other things as well. So here on top, I'm going to search, for example, we can search for file explorer. And here we have the file, we can click on it and it should here open the file explorer. Let's click here on alt plus space here once again. And here we can also see the change log. So let's click on the change log here. You can see that the current version is in public beta and it has a ton of the new features. For example, clipboard history and also authentication. Then we have some of the improvements and also fixes. And now let's try here to use this AI feature. So if I click on tab, we can go here and let's click on continue. And I'm going to ask here, how can I install VS Code on Windows. Let's click on enter and let's see if this AI feature actually works. And you can see here that it directly gave me the link to the website and that I have to click on the download button, run the installer, follow installation prompts, complete installation, launch VS Code, install extensions, etc. So you can see here also which model is being used, OpenAI GPT-40 Mini. And yeah, it works as intended. I can also even click here on this link and it should here open in my web browser. So here we can also search for the files or even clipboard history. So if I click here on clipboard history, we can see here that I don't have any of the results. But if I go, for example, here, we can copy, for example, store and copy. And if I go here to the Raycast, let's go here to the clipboard history. We can see here that we have store actually copied and inside here, and you can also see the source here, which I think it's pretty insane. So you can see here that it recorded that I copied the store text from the Microsoft Edge. And now we can also go here to the store and install a few of the extensions. For example, we can install this one right here, which is called speed test. So let's click here and I'm going to click on install extension. Let's go back here and let's search here for test internet speed. And now we can see here that it's currently running the speed test by Okla. You can see here ISP, you can see the server, you can see ping, you can even see the download speed and also upload speed, which I think both of them are pretty good. And then here video calls, streaming, etc. So yeah, this is how it works here, this extension for the Raycast. Now we can also go here to search emojis and symbols. We can click on it and you can see here how many of the symbols there actually are. For example, we can go here and uh, search for like, and here it actually is. So make sure to go down below this video and drop a like down below. And if you guys haven't already, you can also subscribe to the channel. Your support is much appreciated by the way. And we can also go here and uh, try some of the advanced commands like this one right here. So for example, we can go to ask Dali and here I'm going to ask it to generate an image of an elephant. So generate an image of the elephant. Let's click on enter and we can just wait here for a few seconds. You can clearly see that it's here using the OpenAI GPT-40 mini model. And this is already built inside the Raycast for Windows. 
So here we indeed got the image from the Raycast. So apparently also this uh, app launcher, app searcher program can now generate images as well. And we can also click on it and we can also paste the response here. So pretty much here we have the image Raycast actually generated for me. Now we can also go here to the Raycast settings. So here down below you will find Raycast running in the background. You can click here on the icon and let's click here on the settings. And it's right here. For example, we have here the general settings to follow system appearance, open at login, showing system tray. Raycast hotkey, you can pretty much also modify it if you want to. And then here we have a window mode. So Currently, I think it selected this one, expanded. However, we can also switch to the compact. So let's try this one out. So this apparently is the compact mode, but we can also switch here to the expanded one. So let's click here and you can see here that it has every single option here listed. So you can pretty much get here the idea of what Raycast is actually capable. Let's go back here and let's go here to the shortcuts. You can see here that you can actually record some of the hotkeys, go to the advanced, for example, see a few settings here about and down below we have the AI. You can see here that you can also change the model. By default, this is using GPT-40 mini, but you can here, for example, use GPT-5 mini even. And then here we have primary action based response to active app, but you can, for example, also use this one to copy response to the clipboard. And you can also, for example, record the hotkeys, for example, to ask DALI 3 for the image, maybe even ask GPT image 1 and use different hotkeys for that. And then here we have the calculator, clipboard history, developer, file search even, and here you can use this one to include hidden files as well inside Raycast app. And you can also here use the Raycast for window management and also for Windows settings. So let's try something about the window management here. I'm going to here click on almost maximize. I'm going to here record the hotkey, for example. I'm going to click here on Control and M. So this is going to right now maximize the window. So if I click here on Control and M, focus window is not resizable. We can try, for example, File Explorer here. So let's try to resize it. So Control and M, and you can see here that it almost maximized the window and it works pretty well, as you can see. And now we can also try a few more things for the Raycast. So if I click here on Alt plus Space, we can go here and try five minus two. You can see that it gave me the result here, which is three. And we can also search for a few things. For example, we can go here to Google and we can click here and this should open inside my default web browser. Overall, I do think that the Raycast here on Windows is definitely a game changer. Now you may know tools, for example, Flow, Launcher, and also Power Toys, but this one, I think it's on another level with its UI design. And also it has a ton of really cool features. And you can also install the extensions for it. For example, if you go here to the store, you can install a few of the extensions, which you pretty much find useful, like Google search. Then we have Obsidian, Word Count, Google Calendar, and many others. So yeah, pretty much this is the Raycast for Windows. I think if you have an access, you should definitely give it a go. And uh, I will also put a link for it in the video description. So you guys can also sign up for the waitlist. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, I will see you all around in the next one.